Uh, in this short video today, I'm going to show you a little bit of the tricks uh, and trades of how to uh, complete the understanding experimental design experiment found here in the first week uh, of our Moodle uh, uh, course. Uh, so there's a little bit of directions here that I've given you, so watching the video and then some hints on what you can do to accomplish the task. But you'll notice down below here there is a little word uh, symbol next to the uh, assignment and then there is uh, another symbol with the word Dropbox next to it where you will actually turn the assignment in. So step one is to actually open up the assignment. And so you go ahead and you click on that and uh, you open the file. And I would suggest saving the file uh, someplace safe right away, uh, someplace that you'll be able to access it later when you go to turn it in because you will have to attach it uh, similar to attaching an email. So it'll be up to you to create an online biology folder, maybe even uh, with some sort of a, an order to it like uh, unit one or that kind of thing. Uh, then once you get into this Word document, and this is just a simple Word document, uh, you can do a couple of things with it. You could uh, click right in these uh, different line sections and type in your answers, or uh, you could uh, use the pen tool to actually write in your responses. And if you zoom in down in the lower right hand corner here, if you zoom into an assignment you can see uh, you get uh, a lot of room to write uh, and if you just tap the screen with your uh, stylus it should click uh, and open up the pen tool which is right up here near the top then and if you click or tap that with your uh, stylus you can see some of the different options like you can change colors um, to something that you can see better you can change thickness if you think that would be important for you to have a very specific thickness while writing and then uh, you can go ahead and just write your name right on there. And yep, that's my name. Make it as legible as you can. Uh, period, uh, because we're online biology, uh, this is actually considered period nine. You can put the date in here. You can answer uh, the questions to the best of your ability right here on the lines. Like I said, you could uh, type your responses in as well. And uh, as you scroll down further, there is uh, actually a task here where I'm asking you to graph, and while graphing, I think you will have to write your answers using the uh, stylus and the pen tool. Again, you could zoom in further if you want to zoom in further uh, for this uh, actual graph. And so I'm asking you to label the axis or axes. And so uh, we have uh, the minutes running probably across the bottom. So this would be the time in minutes and then you start at zero and you can probably spread them out a little bit so you can go every other one sort of thing so you can go 5, 10, 15, 20 or you could spread them out even further and then you're going to be looking at uh, putting heart rate over here on this side and again labeling them up the side so that you can see it more easily and then you can draw your lines across you know, put your dot in the appropriate line. Obviously, that's not appropriate necessarily because I don't have my uh, y-axis uh, on the left-hand side there. But you could put your dots as you move across here in the correct spots, and then you could draw a nice line. And then if you have you know, student A's data set over here, you could change color, uh, maybe a nice blue color, uh, for student B, and you could have another line going here uh, for student B. And then I would be able to see exactly... Uh, what you were trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish uh, with this task. You go ahead and then uh, save the assignment, uh, something that is familiar to you, and uh, then you'll be ready to turn it in. So when you are, re are ready to turn in this assignment after you save it, I'll show you that. You go back to the, to the Moodle page, you find that section for this assignment, you click on the drop box for this uh, assignment, and you'll see uh, I put this uh, out there to be done uh, before school even started just so I could uh, access this more easily and show you how to do it more easily. Uh, it is officially due at 9 p.m. Uh, on the Sunday the 9th, that is the first Sunday after that first week of school. Uh, and then this post date refers to when I will likely um, be uh, looking at grading them that next day, um, so that Monday. And then uh, max marks, this would be a 10 point assignment. What you're going to be doing is clicking on the My Submissions section and up pops a whole bunch of things to fill in. In this box, 
you'll put in a title for it, so Understanding Experimental Design. I actually do not need your name attached to it. Um, apologize for this popping up. I don't want to see that message. Uh, you put your, I don't need your name attached to it is what I was saying because uh, it'll actually be attached to your name when you turn it in. I will see your name there. So just give it a name so you know what it is. Uh, and then the file to submit, so what you are saving it as, you can go find it, click on that, just like you're uh, attaching something to an email. And this is the key, this box here, you do have to check it. It says, by checking this box, I confirm that this submission is my own work and I accept all responsibility for any copyright infringement that may occur as a result of this submission. Uh, that is to say that you are not plagiarizing, it is your work. And actually the program that we're using here to submit this does check your work against other people's work. It checks your work against the internet uh, to make sure that you're not just copying and pasting answers, that it is truly your work. And so by checking that, you're saying it is my work. You click on add submission. I'm not sure since I'm not really a student in the class what will happen here, but let's take a look. And it is thinking, 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 uh, uploading, 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 hopefully. and. Um, I think because I'm not, oh, I didn't include a title. Uh, and so if I would have included a title there, which I didn't, uh, it would have uploaded it. It would have put up here that I had submissions. Notice I still have up here, no submissions have been made. And so uh, that's how you know. If you go to do this and it's coming up with some sort of error, no submissions have been made. You should see up there that you that it was uploaded successfully, that you have a submission, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's a way to kind of double check your work. And uh, when all is said and done, then I will come in and I will uh, grade that assignment and uh, you'll be all set to go. And you'll have completed uh, your first uh, turn it in assignment um, for the first week of online biology. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact me via email uh, or stop in room 124 uh, to get some help with it during resource before or after school. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.